In this movie, we will create the floor finish on the first floor and the terraces and the entrance canopy. Continue working in your own model or download Step 7 DWG. Make sure that the dynamic UCS is switched off. Make layer floor slab 1 current. We will first create an edge on the terrace slab. Start the polysolid command and snap to the corners of the terrace slab. Right click to stop adding solids. Type 100 in the height field and 100 in the width field. Hit the control key to adjust the alignment. Repeat this procedure on the edges of the terrace at the back. Remember that the most recently entered width and height are reused automatically. Let's temporarily height this wall. A sill of 200 mm high and 400 mm wide is needed here. Click the Show Entities tool to bring the wall back. Make Layer Floor 1 current. Make sure Enable Boundary Detection is switched on. Click when the boundary highlights, then hover over the second boundary and choose Extrude in the quad. Move the cursor vertically and type 100 in the Dynamic Entry field. Again, move the cursor over the terrace slab and choose Extrude in the quad when the boundary highlights, then specify the extrusion height, 100 mm. To create the interior floor finish, hover the cursor over the slab in the various rooms and click when the boundary highlights. When the boundary of the last room highlights, Choose Extrude in the Quad, move the cursor vertically and type 200 in the Dynamic Entry field. Set the Parapet Layer Current. Start the Polysolid command and snap to the corners of the floor finish. Press and hold the middle mouse button to pan the view while drawing. Right click to stop adding solids. Type 950 in the height field and 20 in the width field. Then hit the control key to adjust the alignment. Repeat this procedure to create parapets on the terrace at the back. Let's temporarily hide this wall. and click the Show Entities tool. We will now create the concrete structure at the front terrace. 
set layer floor slab 1 current. Launch the polysolid command and snap to the bottom right corner of the terrace slab. Type 1000 in the distance field when the blue tracking line displays. Move the cursor parallel to the terrace and hit the shift key to lock the tracking line. Snap to the bottom left corner of the terrace twice, then right click. Specify the height 400 and width 300 of the beams. Hit the control key to adjust the alignment. Switch solid phase detection off, then select the three beams and choose union in the quad. Copy the structure vertically. Snap to the bottom and top of the cantilevered wall. Create a column at the left corner to connect the two parts. Launch the polysolid command. Use a temporary tracking point at 400 mm from the front left corner of the lower beam. Snap to the bottom corner of the upper beam to define the height of the column. Unify all parts of the structure. To conclude this movie, we will create the entrance canopy. Hover over the first floor slab and choose Isolate in the quad. Start the polysolid command and draw a beam over the front door. Snap to the bottom corner of the slab. Hit the shift key to lock the tracking line. Adjust the alignment and specify the height 250 and width 400 of the beam. Restart the polysolid command and draw the canopy along the side face of the slab. Height 250 with 1200. And add the glass extension of the canopy. Click the BIM Insert tool and choose Glass Canopy DWG. Enter the canopy by its end face to align the glass canopy correctly. Snap to the corner of the canopy. Click the Show Entities tool to display the complete model. In the next movie, we will place the exterior windows and interior doors on the first floor. Thank you for watching this tutorial movie. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.